Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm joining you live from the Ko'alina beachfront area uh, outside of Honolulu, Hawaii. And today is day 10 of 21 days to healing yourself through serving others. I hope the audio is good. I know I have a little bit of wind in the background. And there's a plane or two flying overhead. There's a tractor running around on the golf course. But if you can hear me, that would be great to see a thumbs up. Um, so I'm very grateful to be here today. It is Wednesday, and today is the 28th day of December 2016. We are very, very close to the new year. And on that note, I want to invite everybody who is watching this to sign up for the New Year's Blessings that Dr. and Master Shah is offering complimentary to anybody on the planet, anywhere. Uh, just go to his website, drsha.com, and you can sign up for the, um, the complimentary New Year's Eve uh, blessing. And of course, it will come with a message for the New Year's. So it's an exceptional opportunity to, um, to use the, uh, the New Year for change. And a lot of what we're doing right now with this, uh, this goal, this uh, support of 21 days to help you to heal, this is also part of preparing for the new year. Now, uh, coming up in the new year through Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu, they will, they will offer an official 21-day challenge. Uh, this is not even a, the 21-day challenge as much as it's just let's do this together and see what we can do to bring healing to ourselves. But um, So I will keep you more abreast of that as the links become available. And the official ones are a whole lot more potent. Uh, there's lots of prizes available. There's You have your individual mentors. Uh, there's uh, It's well substantially more structured, I, I guess I should say. So I hope that you pay attention to that and I'll keep you abreast of it. So we've got quite a few people jumping in today. As you can see, I'm at the Koalina Beach. Uh, and one of the reasons why is there's a special um, ceremony that they'll be doing on this side of the island. The center is sponsoring a special ceremony to honor uh, and offer our gratitude to heaven. And so uh, that's going to be happening shortly after this. And so I said, well, I will just come to this part of the island and serve everybody uh, from here and then move on down the road to that special ceremony. <clears throat> so uh, somebody please let me know that you can hear me okay. Uh, with the little wind out here, i am not been, had that confirmed yet. I believe it's okay. And I will uh, check in with everybody. So welcome CJ. Welcome Kayla. Welcome Sarah MacArthur. Welcome Kristen. Uh, she says the audio is good. Thank you, Kristen. Welcome Jota. Welcome Ali and Christina Cote. Welcome Petra. Aloha Angie. Welcome Dana. And welcome Linda. Welcome Sharon uh, Lucky. Welcome Ilona and Joanne, both coming in from the UK. And uh, okay, great, thank you, Ali. And so, welcome Zilke. So, uh, we're very blessed. If you happen to be in a temperate zone in the world where you do not have uh, this behind you, then breathe well, suck it in, uh, breathe in the temperature, breathe in the, the pure air. Breathe in the beautiful blue-green aqua water, and uh, we will also invoke the soul of the Pacific Ocean and the soul of the Hawaiian Islands to offer our <coughs> their um, their additional blessings today as we move forward into our practice. So, welcome, Marka. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul by placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. Please remember to share the video, let other people know about it so that we might be able to serve a few more souls. <clears throat> welcome Stephanie, welcome Kristen Strachan. They're all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source. They're all beings of light, serving the plan of the light side all Masters and Ascended Masters, all Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, and Saints. To the soul of all Angels and Healing Angels, Archangels, our individual Heaven's teams, Heaven's Generals and Soldiers, Leaders and Workers, the soul of all those 
of our ancestors. We love you all, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and I bow to you all. We ask you to be present at this time to assist each and every one of us as we work with these practices on our soul journey. Bless us to align to our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies. Bless us to receive the highest frequency healing we can today through our service. Bless our service to reach as many souls as possible so that when we chant to serve others, we might also release some of our spiritual debts. Do the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and again, bow down to you. We invite all souls in all universes to please turn on the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to join with us here today, offering their service. And we invite every soul in our body to turn on the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony and to chant with us. So let us chant a few rounds and fully connect, bringing yourself fully to this present moment, releasing the day or preparing for your beautiful day. <clears throat> let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony one more time lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li lula lula li I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so we've had a few more people come in. <clears throat> welcome Stephanie, welcome Joanne, welcome Nina, Miss. welcome Karen, and Barca, welcome Deborah Miller, welcome C. 
And thank you, Kristen, for posting the links to this source soul song. One of the ways you can um, assist, you know, I, the, the, the Master Shell's organization is called the Institute of Soul Healing and Enlightenment. And since I, I came into uh, the understanding of the, the uh, mission, if you will, I've heard the word, the mission. And, you know, I had this, this uh, mindset around the word, the mission. It, 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 it has connotations of um, religion or organized um, something or other. So it never really felt good for me to hear that word. But um, there is a mission, and the mission is to bring love, peace, and harmony to humanity. And <clears throat> the beautiful thing about Dr. and Master Shah is that he understands that people are not moved by that simple statement. You know, I am here to serve humanity, I'm here to bring love, peace, and harmony to humanity. It would be wonderful if everybody was moved by that, but the reality is they're not. Um, they're too tied up in their, their world, their dramas, the soap operas on television, um, the rock and roll band that they're involved with, uh, the dramas at work. Basically, people are locked up in life to be thinking about the possibility of world peace and love, peace, and harmony. They don't feel like it's possible in most cases. And so, uh, Dr. Master Shah, he followed the guidance that the Divine gave him, and he said, go do miracle healing. Create miracles. Then people will pay attention to you. So his mission was not to create miracles. That was just an, a side effect. That was just something that he has the ability to do because he's a servant of the Divine. So he asked the Divine, would you please create this miracle? And people wake up. They say, wow, something's happening here. That's when he delivers the message of love, peace, and harmony after people start waking up. And along with that message, he teaches people that what creates the suffering in our life is, of course, the spiritual debts that we and our ancestors have incurred. But he can't come right out the gates and say those things because too many people categorize it in the form of a belief system or a religion. And in fact, the reverse is true. <clears throat> Dr. Master Shah grew up under a Buddhist culture. Um, he did not grow up with a belief in a god. They, in China, they call it Lao Tin Ye, which means old man in, in the sky. And so that's what they referred to as what we would call a god. They refer to as old man in the sky, Lao Tin Ye. And so, um, later on, when he met his spiritual father, Master Guo, Master Guo told him, yes, there absolutely is a God. In fact, since the age of nine, Master Guo uh, was visited by the Divine and has ever since been talking to, to God, and that's how he knew there was a God. Um, at at the, roughly the age of nine, Master Guo had a, a, a life-threatening um, condition that occurred. And the parents took him to the hospital, and um, the hospital said, sorry, you don't have insurance, you don't have any money, we're not going to serve your child. Um, basically, they're saying, well, if he dies, he dies, not our problem. And so they took the child home, and the, the local acupuncturist in town came over and served uh, from his heart, and Master Guo recovered. But during that process of sickness, he had his whole body turned to complete warmth and from the inside out he could see everything from that day forward he could see into people's bodies at the age of nine all this happened in that one day and uh, every night um, when he went to sleep he would sleep for an hour or two and God would yank on his toe and wake him up and he would literally write everything that he was being told to write down um, and so he was being taught the nature of the universe the nature of illness etc and as we both we all know at this point he came on to be a a very um, uh, incredible healer, millions of people a year receiving healing blessings, and he was known as the man who cured the incurable in China. And so he was Dr. Master Shah's teacher. And his message to Dr. Master Shah was your uh, mission, if you will, is to spread love, peace, and harmony. You will uh, eventually be an emissary of the divine, which he was. And um, uh, it's not a religion. He was told this. He says, You're just going out to teach love, peace, and harmony. And so along the way, he received healing powers and healing abilities. And uh, this is designed to wake people up. So if, if, I, if I ever say the word mission, or if I ever ask you to share, there's a reason why. The reason is to wake people up. 
if we have a resistance to sharing or for our friends seeing what we do or what we think or what what is serving our soul journey then we need to change our perspective we need to take a look and go okay what am i protecting because very often if we're not willing to share it has to do with uh, ego but ego in a different sense it's ego in a sense of protection in other words um, we are liked and appreciated and loved by these people and if I share this oh my god what will they think of me and so are we serving their soul journey with that no more realistically we're, we're maintaining our status quo we're maintaining our sense of security if that relationship is a true relationship that person may not agree with whatever you share but that is irrelevant if they agree if they don't agree if they are still your friend and don't judge you that is a true friend that is someone you keep in your in your field people that judge people that that um, start saying negative things it's not that they're not your friend it's that they don't understand and they have a vested interest in their perspective so it's important to communicate with them in a loving way and say I didn't share this with you to change your perspective I didn't share this with you for any other reason to give a, an opportunity if it resonates with you for you to have uh, an opportunity to receive healing as well if it doesn't that's okay please forgive me there was no intention to bring a frustration to you um, and so in this way we honor where they're at but to not share at all is not serving anybody's soul journey it's not giving those that are truly looking to awaken those souls everyone has a soul and all of the souls want that personality to awaken up to to the reason why they're here and it could be that one share does that it could be that one comment of dr master shah's new year's blessing when the people listen to him for the first time they go wow this guy is on to something he's trying to save humanity so that's my encouragement for today is <clears throat> whenever possible just share it and if people say anything to you that's that comes across as negative send them love and say thank you for your perspective it's not my intention to change your belief system I just wish to share um, and that's it and you just you know you remain friends that way and honoring each other now you will find that family tends to be a bit more vocal Tam family tends to be uh, they, they believe they have the right to um, impose their perspective and opinions upon you because they're family and that's where it becomes even more important to be honoring and respectful mom I love you sister I love you brother I love you I listen to your perspective I honor your perspective I think it's very important and I know if you didn't love me you would not share your perspective with me I am on my own soul journey you are on yours and this is what resonates with me at this time I'm hearing clearly that it might not resonate with you but that's okay I honor that you're where you're at and I ask you to honor that I am where I am at and in this way you maintain harmony in the family you've honored their perspective you've you said I'm not trying to change you please don't try to change me I love you let us move forward with love peace and harmony this allows you to move forward on your soul journey without ego uh, impact and you stay with it as long as it resonates with you if any form of healing and wisdom you're receiving stops resonating with you my first suggestion is check with the few people around you um, that <clears throat> that have received value from that wisdom or teaching and see if it's testing sometimes what happens is we we might um, uh, study a practice a, a, a wisdom or a teaching and uh, it works for us for a year or two and then we hit a resistance point and sometimes that's what's called a spiritual test sometimes it means it's just not the right teaching for you and it's time to move on to something that is better for you but uh, all too often what I see is people go are going on a good spiritual path and they get a test where um, somebody that they put a lot of value or merit into gives them their opinion and so then they they knock them off of a valuable spiritual path now of course that person that that gave them that information that knocked them off the path that person generates karma because it did not help this other person's spiritual journey but we must pay attention to where if we get a challenge don't just fall off the path check with those around you that you care uh, that you trust and um, that are already in alignment with that path and see if it was a test or see if it's the not not the right place to be 
Now, why I went off on this path, I have no idea. Apparently, it needed to be said, so I just went with flow at this time. <coughs> Excuse me. So, welcome everybody, and do uh, sign up for Master Shaw's New Year's Eve blessing if you haven't already. Just go to his website. Kristen has posted the link on the chat boxes. So today is day 10 of the 21 days to bring service to others and as a natural side effect, bring clearing to ourselves and healing to ourselves. The, um, this last 10 days have actually been very, very valuable um, for each one of us, whether you recognize it or not, whether the things have appeared to have gotten worse or better. In every case, when you clear spiritual debt, which is what you have been doing these 10 days, you, things are getting better. And it's just, there's, I've seen this far too often to know that that's not a truth. So it's important to keep that you know, stuck in the back of your head if you're finding a challenge and it does not appear that things are immediately getting better. Yesterday we focused specifically on high, high level and depth of forgiveness. And that was the message that I received from the Divine to give you all uh, a deeper and higher knowledge um, and a deeper and higher perspective on how deep your forgiveness could or should go. Now, when we do a forgiveness practice, I wanted to add a little bit uh, additional side note, if you will. That depth of forgiveness can be five minutes. And then you can chant for 20 minutes or longer. Um, Shen Qi Jing He Yi, for example, which is soul, heart, mind, energy, matter, become one. Shen is soul, heart, mind. Qi is energy. Jing is matter. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter, become one. Oneness. And so we could chant that for the next 20 minutes, as an example, after we do our forgiveness practice. And that whole uh, 25 minutes would be considered forgiveness practice. Why? Because we've done the forgiveness practice, and then we ask, as I chant, Shen Qi Jing He Yi, could you please bless all of the souls that do not want to forgive me at this time so that we can become one in heart and soul? You chant. So forgiveness practice, you know, you might hear if, if you are truly a, a spiritual aspirant, you might hear that you need to do forgiveness practice one hour a day. It might sound like a lot, but really what's being said is do a deep practice and then chant uh, for the course of an hour in the course of an entire day. So today we're going to do a little bit more of that. Let me check guidance at this point, <clears throat> see if there's any additional information. Uh, also welcome C. Love, welcome Delma. Um, thank you Kristen for these postings. And welcome Mijram from coming in from Europe. And welcome Pat, welcome Loveness. And we'll welcome Napasanan. And welcome Cheryl and Tammy Lee. <coughs> Excuse me. So thank you all for coming. So give me a moment. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to chant today to serve the ocean. Okay? And we're going to chant to serve the oceans of the world to bring healing and balance to the oceans of the world. They provide sustenance. You may not know this, but the plankton inside the ocean are the second most uh, prolific source of oxygenation on the planet. The first is trees, the second is plankton. They provide uh, massive amounts of oxygenation for us. And people are unaware of that. So the plankton is the food source for everything in the ocean. It's the beginning of the food chain. And it also is the food source, if you will, for a human being. That's how relevant the ocean is. And so we're going to chant for the ocean. And, we're, and uh, we will uh, ask for nothing. And of course, the virtue we receive will affect whatever it is that needs to be affected. So let's do this together. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We'll first do a forgiveness practice on behalf of us and our ancestors for the ocean. So repeat after me. Dear the beloved oceans of this Mother Earth, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I ask 
on behalf of my ancestors and I for your forgiveness. I know that I and my ancestors may have done some very unpleasant things in this and other lifetimes. It has brought harm to your structure, to your life, to your life breath, to all of your inhabitants, including all of the plankton, all of the fish, all of the coral of the ocean, and all other life forms in your waters. In every case, I deeply and sincerely apologize. In every case, I wish that I could reverse any actions that may have been done to harm you. I and my ancestors will chant today to serve you and we ask only for your forgiveness. We are very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now what I want to ask you to do is <clears throat> uh, ask the soul of what you have been bringing healing to this entire time, whether it's the soul of a relationship or whatever, every soul can be connected to and it can be asked to serve. So ask the souls of, of everything, if it's a body part, dear all the souls in my liver, dear all the souls of my back, uh, dear all the souls of my relationship with me and my mom, please chant with me to serve the ocean, okay? And then they will also chant. <clears throat> dear the soul of Mother Earth, the soul of Mother Earth's jindan of love, peace, and harmony. The soul of all those on the line, all of our love, peace, harmony, transmissions downloaded onto our soul, including any of those on the line that have received the love, peace, harmony, jindan. We love you, Ani, we appreciate you. We ask that you please turn on at this time, and as we chant love, peace, and harmony, offer your greatest love to the beloved oceans of Mother Earth. Now, uh, as we chant, for those with third eye, please share any images that you might see uh, while we're chanting to serve the ocean. <clears throat> so let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula Halilula Lula Halilula Wo I wash in her ling Wo I tram and lay Wong Li Run her musher shung Shong I ping on a ship Song I ping on a sin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony and since we are in Hawaii I will chant in Hawaiian for our beloved ocean Eloha mai au Eloha kakoa pau Epihili mai buvai kakao Aloha Mali elo kahi Aloha Mali elo kahi Lula ha lula li Lula ha lula la li Lula lula li lula Lula li lula 
laha lilula wo ai wo xin er ling wo ai tran ran le wang li hing rong her mu shi shang shuang ai ping an er xie shuang ai Ping on a shame. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <coughs> Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. Visualizing golden light coming from every direction outside of Earth, all the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, every human being, all the souls of the mountains, rivers, oceans, of the plants, of the trees, of the uh, birds and the bees. Of the flowers, they're all radiating their love to the oceans. All this golden light is radiating to the oceans. Mother Earth's jindon in the center of her heart is radiating to the oceans. <coughs> Visualize this golden radiation. Eloha maia, Eloha kakoa pau. E pihili mai tuvai kakao Aloha malie lo kahi Aloha malie lo kahi Lula ha lula li Lula lula la li Lula, 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 lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I tran ran le. Wang li hing rong. Er mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an e xie, shuang ai ping an e xie. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Invite the souls of your children to chant with you. Invite the souls of your parents, your brothers and sisters, your grandparents. Invite the souls of your best friends to come and chant with you. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I tran ran le. Wang li hing rong her mu shi shang. Shuang ai ping an e xie. Shuang ai ping an e xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls 
together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony hello my hello kako pau e mai Puvai kakao Aloha Malie Lukahi Aloha Malie Lukahi Continue to chant and I will offer a soul reading and third eye as to what is happening at this time. At this time, there are countless beings serving the beloved oceans of this Mother Earth. This blessing is not limited to the oceans, as all of the water of Mother Earth feeds the oceans. This blessing is not stopping by the purification of the waters of Mother Earth. It is including changing the mindsets, the attitudes that is held through the corporate structures and the greed perspectives, the lack of respect for the water and the waterways, for all of the rampant dumping of toxic chemicals. There is blessings coming from very high layers to those souls on earth, those businesses on earth that are disrespecting the waters of earth. And these messages that are coming are clearing the blockages of darkness that have caused those businesses and individuals to believe that such a little bit will not make a difference once 2,000 miles of water has been trespassed. The oceans themselves are literally refracting the golden light and the refractions which carry purification frequencies are weaning off the particles that have darkness on them. The particles that make up the ocean that carry karmic blockages on them are literally being pruned and weaned and those particles become light and pure once again. Imagine this on a scale as large as all the oceans. This is what is occurring at this time. There is additional purification occurring in the coral, in the fish. It is also permeating into the ground in all areas as at the ground level there is the beginning of much of the life of the ocean. It is a permaculture, if you will, that feeds and nourishes all that is in the water itself. And these areas are also being blessed through this frequency of love, peace, and harmony. There is special deities, angels if you will, that are assigned to those souls of the ocean, including all of the inhabitants of the ocean and they are offering teachings through the way they teach to the ocean inhabitants about the nature of this song love peace and harmony they are awakening them to the awareness that this soul song has been transmitted to every soul including theirs and they are being awakened to this acknowledgement 
and ask to also chant to serve the oceans and others. Let us continue. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloho amai au. Eloha kakoa pau. E pihili mai. Fuvai kakao. Aloha. <coughs> Malie lo kahi. Aloha. Malie lo kahi. Lula ha lula li. Lula lula la li. Lula ha lula li lula. Ha li lula. Lula ha li lula. <coughs> Wo ai wo shin erling, wo ai tran ran lei, wo ang li ying run er mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an er xie, shuang ai ping an er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Two more times. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo shin erling, wo ai tran ran lei, huang li ying rong er mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an er xie, shuang ai ping an er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew, that was very powerful. So notice I stopped 
I felt this rush of energy to my head right away. So that must mean that a lot's moving. You know, one of the things that we need to think about is uh, that we are made up of, when we're born, made up of about 90% water. And that eventually weans down to about 70% because as we get older, we tend to dehydrate. But if made up of between 70 and 90% water, and we already know that water is a carrier of messages, then what does that tell you about the message of love, peace, and harmony? We know that every soul, uh, everything has a soul, and that includes our cells. That includes the water that is in us. Every molecule of water that is in us has the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to it. And so when we chant, what do you think that's doing from the inside out of our human vessel? It's, it's truly remarkable when we stop and think about it. And it's a lot more than positive affirmations and positive thinking. We have to stop and remember this basic understanding that what we chant is what we become. And one of the reasons why is because of the nature of water as a messenger. It is a carrier of messages. Soul is a carrier of messages. And this is one of the baseline teachings that Master Shah brings to us that soul is spirit. Spirit is a message. What is that message? If it's untainted, then the message is purity, love. If it's tainted, then um, that's karmic in nature, and that means that uh, we must change the message. Therefore, chanting love, peace, and harmony, or anything uh, where we are bringing value to others, is of course going to transform whatever the blockages are that we're experiencing. So everyone, please share, how has your 10 days of practice been so far? And how was this practice for you just now? Anybody who had a third eye images about what they saw uh, in terms of this chanting for the ocean, please share that as well. And uh, I'm gonna take everybody for a little, little walk around my area. I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing in the area and I'll chat with you. So this is the area called Koalina. And there are quite a few people here as you can see. Many, many peoples. Uh, this area is next to the Marriott and the Walt Disney Place, which is these taller buildings back behind me here. And it's quite a beautiful place, really. There is a great area for the children. You can see they have the uh, water break here. And uh, the water is very shallow, probably goes out to about 10 feet. Uh, before the water break and uh, today would be an excellent day to see whales but I haven't seen any whale spouts yet they're still not quite in this area yet they might be in Maui at this point some of the other islands but they're not quite here yet so I thought you'd like that view give you a little slice of Hawaii right now with the Sun I'd say it's probably about 78 to 80 degrees it's rough, I know. I've been very blessed to live in some amazing places in the world. I wish I could blow the warm air on you wherever you're at, I'm sure it would help. But I wanted to give you that opportunity to experience this little slice of Hawaii. So I hope you enjoyed that. So please share uh, your experience with this chanting for the ocean and any of the third eye images as well. C. Love says third eye images of all the water sparkling down to the sand and uh, regrowing and refreshing all of the plantations and uh, fish very happily swimming great feeling all as well thank you thank you thank you and Terry Brown she just joined us welcome Teresa um, Angie says warm enough in Oz uh, too warm today, laugh out loud. So it's actually, um, yeah, summertime in the land of Oz. It's on the other part of the hemisphere. And so they're dealing with the summer solstice switchover. 
uh, which if you remember the flow that I offered uh, about a week ago from the summer solstice uh, soul, if I remember correctly, it talked about um, that it is the, the, uh, the moving forth of all that had sprung forth. So in the winter time, you're birthing your, uh, your, 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 your ideas come into birth formation. Spring, you actually birth them. Summertime, you move forward all that you had birthed. That was the message from the summer solstice soul. Okay, so welcome Jody, and welcome everybody else that I hadn't seen yet. Thank you for joining today. Don't see too many sharings on the nature of this value for serving the ocean as we did. So, um, <coughs> as New Year's is coming up, I was trying to think of a way that I, I could serve all of you. And uh, New Year's, generally speaking, is um, new commitments to change some of the old patterns and habits that are not serving us. Uh, opportunities to, to reset our clock. Uh, opportunities to reset the, the ways we want to do things. And so, for those that are interested, what I'd like to do is offer a, um, a crown chakra blessing for the area that you wish to change the most. You know, we have our New Year's resolution. It could be smoking, for example. Uh, it could be losing weight. It could be um, feeling better about yourself, uh, self-worth issues. It could be um, any number of things, but it's your New Year's resolution. And what I'll do is I'll offer, along with the, um, the Crown Chakra Blessing, I'll offer a message for the New Year from either your soul or the Heaven's teams or from Heaven. So it'll come with a soul reading message for your New Year. Uh, and we'll just keep the, the normal honor fee for the Crown Chakra the same at 100. And so if that's something of interest to you where you want that boost, because one thing to understand about a New Year's resolution is basically saying this is an area that's been bothering me for a while. I really, really, really want to get through and pass this, whatever it is. And um, when we do New Year's resolutions, how many of us have actually succeeded? How many have actually succeeded? My guess would be around 30%. Uh, mostly because we don't have a vested interest in it and it's, it's, it's exciting for a little while but then we run out of steam. The reasons why we run out of steam is because of the karma associated with it. Look at cigarettes for, for example. There's a lot of addiction there. There's a lot of uh, uh, attachments that come with that. Uh, same thing with any other blockage area. The reason it's hard to move through and pass is because of the karma associated with it. So to receive the Crown Chakra Blessing for the, re the clearing of those blockages would be significant in helping you move forward in your uh, uh, success of that uh, New Year's resolution. So if anyone's interested in that, uh, feel free to contact me. And that, like I said, would include the soul reading uh, and blessing for your New Year. So I saw uh, one or two sharings here. So Zilke says, uh, one side it happens a lot and it was a chain reaction. The other side in German, we could say it was a drop of water on a hot stone. It looked like holiday and rejuvenation for the ocean and the being uh, in it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for that sharing, Zilke. Uh, and what Da'ai Archana? Uh, Sharon says she felt very warm, saw a lot of light, and got knocked out, fell asleep. Great. And Angie asked Tammy to reshare what she saw. Yeah, I don't know that I saw anything from Tammy. Uh, Joanne says that it's been great. I have felt so different in my being, very uplifted. Tonight I saw a big blue orb than an angel like the one you would put on top of a Christmas tree and then mermaids swimming in the ocean. Beautiful. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, CJ says she saw the dancing sun and a dove. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you all so very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the views of, of this beautiful place that I'm so blessed to live in. I invite all of you to uh, come to this New Year's uh, Eve 
uh, activities at Master Shah's Dow Hunting Center. It's this Saturday the 31st, and it starts with Master Shah's New Year Blessing. For all those that have not signed up for the New Year's Blessing, go to drshaw.com and immediately sign up. It's a complimentary blessing from one of the most prolific masters on the planet. Um, to, to state to receive a blessing complimentary for your, uh, uh, your life is not a small thing. Your blueprint, literally your soul's blueprint, is changed when you receive a blessing from this master. So I recommend you take advantage of that and we'll be, um, we'll be at the center in Honolulu throughout the course of the day. Um, there will be many different activities, meditations for peace, there will be games, there will be lots of activities coming to the center, opportunities for the new year. Um, so you can learn more about that again uh, by going to the events section in Dr. Shaw's homepage and just click down to Honolulu. Um, so events and then it's, I think it's USA and then you click into Hawaii and you'll see all of our scheduled events there. Okay, so I see I believe one question Joanne is a blessing through a phone call. Yes it is Joanne. Tammy said she saw a bright blue light flash and a man in a huge wave with a trident in his hand pointing to the sky. Great sharing, Tammy. Thank you for sharing. And yes, I agree, Teresa. It is wonderful for the whole family. So thank you all so much for coming. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song to all the holy beings that came. We will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.